Hi, I'm Susan Papanicolas from How Does Your Garden Grow in Seattle, Washington. I'm here today in my own garden at the end of August to show you this really beautiful toad lily. It's hard to find plants that bloom in the shade at the end of summer, and a lot of times our shady gardens can look a little dreary. So this is a plant I really like to put into my clients' gardens to add some color at the end of summer. It has these really lovely little orchid-shaped flowers on it that will bloom for about a month and a half or two months in August and September. The other thing I like about this particular variety of toad lily is that it has a yellow variegation to the leaf. Each one of these leaves is edged in a little bit of gold. So that can really brighten up a shady corner and add a lot of interest even before the plant starts to bloom. In spite of its delicate appearance, this plant is actually pretty tough and easy to take care of. All it wants in the garden is a shady spot with a little bit of moisture and it'll help if you mulch the soil around it to keep the organic matter rich. It'll come up in the spring with these really beautiful little leaves edged in gold and then around July the flower stalks will start to emerge and it'll bloom all the way to fall. Then in the fall, once we get freezing weather, the plant will die back to the ground. At that point, I'll cut back the dead foliage on this plant and it will be dormant throughout the winter. I don't always see toad lilies available at the nursery and particularly this variety, Samurai, with these golden edged leaves. So whenever I see it, I grab it because I know I'm gonna want to incorporate it into a shady spot in a client's garden whenever I have the opportunity. It's a really fantastic plant to extend the season in your shady garden throughout the end of summer. I'm Susan Papanicolas from How Does Your Garden Grow, helping you make the most of your garden.